So question six, we have seven minus eight y is greater than five minus seven y, okay? So what we're gonna do is try to get isolate y by itself, as usual, okay? So there's, again, you could do different things. You could add eight y to both sides. You could subtract five from both sides. I'm going to add seven y to both sides just to see what happens, okay? And that'll give me seven and then negative 8y plus 7y is negative 8 bad guys and 7 positives would be one bad guy left over, right? Now I added to both sides, so what should I do with the inequality sign? Same direction, right? And then we just have 5 over here, okay? Now I need to get y by itself or 1y, so I've got to get rid of the 7, don't I? So to get rid of that 7, I need to subtract 7 from both sides. And I'll be left with negative 1y here. So remember, the negative sign is going to come down. That doesn't disappear, right? 5 minus 7, I have $5, I subtract $7, leaves me with negative 2. I'll be in debt by 2. I subtracted from both sides. What do I do with the inequality sign? If you subtract from both sides, you need to leave it in the same direction and again on, a, on example 2 we explored that that when you subtract from both sides of an inequality the inequality stays the same direction so it stays like that and now we have negative 1 multiplied by y how do we get y by itself divide by negative 1 on both sides right and what does that give you well, you'll get y here, and negative, what's negative 2 over negative 1? Positive 2, right? Now, I divided both sides by a negative. What should I do with the inequality sign? And again, as we explored in example 2, if you divide both sides by a negative, you need to change direction of the inequality, right? So, change direction, and y is less than two and I'll just I'm just gonna run over that one more time just so you can see it so to prove to you that when you divide by a negative you need to change direction I just want you to uh, have a look at this if we had negative 15 and we know that that is less than 10 let's write that out four times okay write it out four times okay now to prove that you change direction when you divide by a negative here's what we'll do I want you to um, add something to both sides of this inequality. Anything at all. Pick a number. Add a number to both sides. And just pick a number, right? So how about 3? We'll add 3 to both sides. Let's see what happens. What's negative 15 plus 3? It's negative 12. What's 10 plus 3? 13. Now, which is lesser, negative 12 or 13? Negative 12 is lesser, so it goes in that direction, right? How about subtracting something from both sides? Pick a number. I want you to subtract something from both sides. Any number at all. Pick a number, subtract it from both sides. What happens? So we'll subtract 7. If I subtract 7 from both sides, what's negative 15 subtract 7? I'm in debt by 15. I subtract 7. Now I'm in debt by 22, right? 10 minus 7 is 3. Which is less? The negative 22 or the 3? Which is less? That's less, right? So the inequality stays the same direction when you subtract from both sides. And you can try this with any inequality you like with numbers, okay? Now we'll divide both sides by something. I'm going to ask you to divide by 5 because it goes in evenly. Let's divide by a positive. If you divide by a positive, what happens? What's negative 15 divided by 5? Negative 3. What's 10 divided by 5? Positive 2. How does the inequality sign go now? Which is less? Negative 3 is less, right? So when we divide by a positive, the inequality sign 
stays the same direction. And the last one, most importantly, look what happens when you divide both sides by a negative 5. Divide both sides by negative 5, what do you get? So negative 15 over negative 5 is what? Negative over negative gives positive. Positive 3, right? What's 10 over negative 5? Positive over negative gives a negative number and that's going to be negative 2. What direction should the inequality sign go? 3 on the left, negative 2 on the right. Show me how the inequality sign should go. This is bigger than this, right? So 3 is greater than negative 2. We agree on that. So when we divide both sides by a negative, we need to change the direction of the inequality. So I'll just write that down again. When you divide by negative, by a negative, that's when we change direction. When you divide by a negative. So the trick is to remember, you know, it's not when there's some negative involved somewhere, like you're subtracting. No. When you subtract, you stay the same direction. It's not when you're dividing by anything like dividing by a positive. No, when you divide by a positive it stays the same direction. It's only when you divide by a negative. Those two things have to happen. You have to be dividing and dividing by a negative. Now, it's also when you multiply both sides by a negative, but that doesn't happen very often and that's really the same thing as multiply and divide are basically the same operation. But in any case, um, yeah, dividing by a negative. Change direction. And that's why we change direction here. So we have y is less than 2. Okay? And um, y is less than 2. To put that in a number line, here is 2. And 0 is less than 2. So is negative 1. So is negative 2. All these numbers are less than 2. All the way towards what? Towards negative infinity. Right? And all the way up to 2. But is 2 part of the solution? Is 2 part of the solution? No, we kind of get to 1.99999. You could think of it that way. So we get very close to 2, but not including 2. Okay? And that's why we use the uh, parenthesis. So when it's uh, not included, we use parenthesis, right?